Herbert David Kelleher was born on March 12, 1932 in Trenton, New Jersey, but was raised in Audubon, New Jersey. His mother was Ruth Moore and his father Harry Kelleher was a general manager at Campbell's Soup Factory. Herbert attended Haddon Heights High School where he distinguished himself as an athlete and student body president. When he graduated from high school, he got his first job at Campbell Soup Company, where he worked for six months. He went for his first bachelor's degree at the Wellesleyan University, where he majored in English and minored in philosophy. Herbert was an Orleans scholar and a member of Delta Kappa Epsilon Fraternity at the Wesleyan University. On a blind date at a basketball game, he met Joan Negley, a student at Connecticut College in New London. The duo got engaged and later got married. The couple was eventually blessed with four children. When he graduated from New York University, Herbert and his family lived in the East Coast where he practiced law. Joan introduced Herbert to Texas, which he claimed he fell in love with. Concerning Texas, Herbert said, The greatest business decision I ever made was to move to Texas. It was here that he planned to start his legal firm. After graduation, Herbert went for his second degree at the New York University, where he received his Juris Doctor and earned a Bachelor of Law. He was a Root Tilden Scholar at the university. As it turned out, John never got the chance to start that legal firm, but opted for an aviation company instead. Together with Texas businessman Rollin King, one of his law firm clients, and banker John Parker, Herbert created a concept for airline business on a cocktail napkin in a restaurant in San Antonio, Texas. The company was incorporated as Air Southwest Company in 1967. Herbert had to spend four years fighting several legal challenges created by his competitors who did not want him to start the airline. Herbert won the key cases before the Supreme Court of the United States in 1970 and the Supreme Court of Texas in 1971. Eventually, Herbert and King established the airline company in 1971 and renamed it Southwest Airline. The airline offered low fares to passengers and had its first flight in June 18, 1971. Herbert was able to offer the low fare by eliminating needless services and excluding the hub and spoke scheduling system, which was used by other airlines. Herbert recalled saying, I think my greatest moment in business was when the first Southwest airplane arrived after four years of litigation and I walked up to it and I kissed that baby on the lips and I cried. Herbert's early involvement, his advice to operation and general counsel in Southwest Airline helped the company to navigate legal concerns. The company hired Lama Muse as its CEO. But after the misunderstanding and struggles between Lamar and King intensified, Lamar resigned in 1978. Herbert was made the chairman of the board that same year, and the board appointed him as temporary CEO until Howard Putnam was hired as the new president and CEO for the company. When Howard left in 1981 to head Braniff Airways, Herbert was reappointed, but as a full-time CEO and president of the airline. Herbert held these positions for 20 years. During Herbert's leadership, Southwest Airline greatly succeeded through the strategy of offering low fares to passengers. Using a single aircraft type, focusing on secondary airports like California, Orange County, and Chicago Midway, building point-to-point -point traffic rather than using the hub and spoke scheduling system and eliminating unnecessary services. However, the company began operating some hub flights at airports such as BWI and SDL and some major airports such as LAX and LGA. Through Herbert's efforts, the airline company was consistently named one of the five most admired airline companies in America in Fortress Magazine's annual poll. Herbert was also referred to as the best CEO in America by Fortune. The company expanded from just four planes to a leader of the industry. It remained profitable for 38 straight years, a record which had not been held by any other airline of the country. But at one point, Herbert realized that the airlines needed good marketing and good word of mouth. The problem was that they did not have enough money for the kind of advertising they were looking for. So they tried something different, such as flight attendants wearing hot pants and the result got press reports equal to 15 to 20 million dollars. 
Herbert also loved doing publicity stunts, like wearing leprechaun outfits and Easter bunny suits or driving motorcycles. Herbert's policy was your employees come first, and if you treat your employees right, guess what? Your customers come back, and that makes your shareholders happy. Start with employees, and the rest follow from that. With his outrageous personality, Herbert created a corporate culture that made employees of Southwest Airlines well known for taking their jobs more seriously than themselves. In 1992, shortly after the Southwest Airline changed its motto to just plain smart, the company was threatened by Stevens Aviation, whose motto had been plain smart. Stevens Aviation threatened a trademark lawsuit, which was, however, resolved in an arm wrestling match between Herbert and Kurt Herwald, CEO of Stevens Aviation. The interesting arm wrestling match is now referred to as Malice in Dallas, and though Herbert lost the match, he was allowed to use the motto in exchange for a charitable donation and conceding Southwest Airlines' legal claim to the motto. Herbert was known for getting very little sleep and for his keen love for cigarettes and wild turkey bourbon. In 1999, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer and underwent radiation therapy. In 2001, Herbert stepped down as president and CEO of Southwest Airline. James Parker was appointed as the new CEO and Colin Barrett as the new president. However, Herbert remained the chairman of the board. In 2007, the company announced that Herbert will step down from the role of chairman of the board and resign from the board of directors on May 2008. Collins' retirement as president was also announced at the same time. However, both Herbert and Collins would remain full-time employees of the company for another five years. When Herbert eventually stepped down as chairman in 2008, CEO Gary C. Kelly was made to occupy the position as well as the position of president. Gary had taken over as CEO of the company from James three years earlier. Herbert was made the chairman emeritus of Southwest Airline with an office at Southwest Airline headquarters until his death in 2019. Herbert died on January 3, 2019 at the age of 87. His death was announced by Southwest Airlines on Twitter. Though the cause of his death was not revealed, most people believe that Herbert died of prostate cancer. Herbert served as Deputy Chairman of the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas Board of Directors. In 2010, he was made the chairman and his term expired in 2013. During his lifetime, his favorite quote was, If the employees come first, then they're happy. A motivated employee treats the customer well. The customer is happy, so they keep coming back, which pleases the shareholders. It's not one of the enduring green mysteries of all time. It is just the way it works. It wouldn't be surprising to see him spending time loading baggage, ticketing customers, and mixing drinks on board. Hubbard was a true example of leadership, who is very diligent and committed, and who through these attributes was able to rise from supposed law practitioner to billionaire airline executive. Herbert, who started as a lawyer, became one of the best business executives of today. Herbert's net worth was estimated at $2.5 billion. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other interesting videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.